The power of the wind and trying to keep it out during a storm is the goal of this research facility in South Carolina, testing the limits of the structures so air doesn't get in. It's trying to pull the walls out and pull the roof up. So your home is trying to hold itself together. So by allowing the wind to get into your home, say through a garage door failure, that wind is then going to push up on the roof and out on the walls. Senior meteorologist Sarah Dillingham says this is more important than ever. They've been seeing more storms more frequently further east than the typical tornado alley in the Midwest, like last week's tornado in Sunbright. So what that means is we now have vulnerable housing that's at greater exposure to seeing these uh, increased number of hazards. Um, what that's going to do um, is going to increase the losses and unfortunately put more people at risk. Specifically, they are looking at why homes in the Clarksville, Tennessee tornado failed. Dillingham says it may come down to changing building codes to keep up with the changes in Mother Nature. And there were a lot of uh, people that were outraged locally to see that hey, my wall to floor connections were very insufficient and I shouldn't have had these failures happen. Like, why did this happen? The most vulnerable part of your home is the garage door. Researchers say just simply propping the door during a storm could be life saving. Once air gets in, it takes only a matter of minutes to shred it apart. When we see these kinds of failures, that's a life safety concern. We call those bottom up failures where the home is shifted off the foundation. And unfortunately, that's often where we can see fatalities occur.